Hi everyone, Kim Sit here. Today is New Year's Eve 2012 and it is day four of my back to healthy lifestyle, uh, sorry, back to healthy track, back on healthy track challenge. Today, I got up late at 8.30. My husband was asking me, what do I do? I'm like, what do you do, Kim, when you stay up late and I answer, well, a whole bunch of things that I can't do on my computer while the kids are awake because it's very hands-on. Um, I do different things. I read, I write. So anyway, the suggestion came about to me uh, from him. Why don't you go to bed when the baby goes to bed and then just get up at four? And I thought about it for a while. That's an idea. So. Today's intention is that I go to bed at an early hour. So I intend to go to bed at 10. So I'm gonna go and go to bed very soon because it's after 9.30 already. So anyway, uh, what did I eat today? Breakfast, I got up late and I had pomegranate, pomegranate seeds, basically the juice because I just spat out the seeds. And what else did I have? I had, um, felt pretty hungry, so I had 10 pistachios as well. And at lunch, I had romaine lettuce with the red split lentil soup, a split pea lentil, lentil soup. That's usually what my son likes, and so I, I just had some of that from him uh, with some avocado as well. Then afterward, I managed to take a walk with both my sons, with the baby and with Remy, uh, which was a little challenging, actually. The moment we got out, he was into the snow. Uh, he wouldn't listen to me to, come on, Remy, let's go, let's go. It was really pretty frustrating for me. But we made it there and made it back. He was all covered in snow and kind of wet by the time we came back. But I did my best, and I know that he had fun. That gave me some fresh air and some exercise. Uh, when I got home, my sister had brought back my daughter and they had made cookies. And of course she offered me some. And I looked at them and I'm like, oh yeah, oh, nice, very nice cookies, you know. Um, and so then my sister said, oh yeah, you're on a diet. Why are you doing this now? I didn't respond at that, that time, but in my mind I'm thinking, because now is the time. There is no time but the present. That's what I think. Um, yeah, I know that challenges will come about all the time because if I say, oh, okay, New Year's, New Year's, perfect time, then, then something is bound to happen, just like at uh, Supper. So when I came home, it was about four, and I had three slices of toast with some Earth Balance and avocado, um, followed by 36 pistachios. Yes, I am keeping count now. So uh, one walnut that I cracked and one Asian pear. Uh, I did actually have supper, as I said, there is no perfect time, because someone's always about to suggest something, takeout or a party, uh, we ordered takeout, one chow mein, pad thai, and, and a golden curry. So I ate all of that, but here are the accomplishments of the day. I avoided the sugar, I avoided the cookies. And I avoided stuffing myself with the rest of the food, thinking, oh, okay, I might as well just eat it all. Instead, I didn't. I closed the cover of the rest of the, the takeout and put it into the refrigerator. And also, uh, during my walk, as I said, it was a little frustrating with my son who wanted to go into the snow. Uh, I tapped. I tapped uh, using EFT. And it got me home. I know that he had a lot of fun. So those were my accomplishments for today. I feel great. And I'm about to fulfill my intention. It is almost 10 p.m. So I am going to go to go to bed uh, and think about all the great things that happened in 2012. I wish you all the best in 2013 and have fun reflecting on all the great events in your life in 2012. All the best. Happy New Year. Happy and healthy New Year. Thank you.